Alright, Ismig here. So, uh, I took the, the bike out for a shakedown ride yesterday. Also, I will put uh, how to set the sag for the Dorado fork on this bike, okay? For this bike. Um, I'll put that link at the end of the video too if you guys want to see how, how you set the sag on a, a Dorado Expert or a Pro, alright? Um, okay, because I just did it right now. <laughs> I know, so I, one of the things I noted yesterday was the suspension is too soft. <laughs> Okay, I was like, man, the front is the the rear is pretty stiff, but the front is like too soft. All right, so I got a really big imbalance. So I got what I can do is stiffen up the front. All right, I'm pretty sure it needs to be stiffened up. All right, so what I did is I properly set the sag. All right, just like I did in that video. All right, so so the I got 90 psi in the air air spring right now. All right, in the fork, and uh, and then and then now I'm just gonna set the clickers. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put everything in the middle, all right? And then if I feel like it's still too soft, then uh, I will uh, I will just add more compression from there. Or if I feel it's too stiff, I'll remove, uh, you know, remove compression or rebound, all right? So, so right now, this is kind of what I'm working with. It's like a pogo stick, man. Okay? <laughs> like a pogo stick. So I feel like I feel like the the rear I haven't set the sag for the rear yet, but I feel the rear is pretty pretty much how I want it. Maybe it's too stiff. I don't know. But, um, but yeah, um, I feel it's a little too pogo. It's very smooth though. The action is very smooth. I hear a lot of creaking sounds. I kind don't of like that. <laughs> okay. So so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add. I think I put everything all of the stock the settings there. Right? What I'm gonna do is uh, put it in the middle, all right, in the middle of the dampening, all right. So if you guys don't know, uh, when you increase dampening, you make it so it's less easier for it to move, and then if you decrease the dampening, it makes it easier to move. So basically, um, when you remove dampening, it makes it softer, and then when you add dampening, it makes it stiffer okay so right now i feel like it's too loose okay even with the thing so what i'm gonna do is figure out how many clicks i got going on here okay so i think you see yeah, there we go see it's all the way at the bottom it's not doing anything okay that's one that's one two three okay and i could feel it i could feel it and hear it click three four five six Seven. I think that was eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one. 22 at 22 okay so i don't know for what for whatever reason ugh. all right yeah for whatever reason 22 is like the maximum all right so uh we went so so what i did is we went all the way counterclockwise and then we went clockwise and there was 22 clicks all right so what i want to do is go back 11 and that'll give us the middle okay so one two Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, 
and 11. Okay, so that gives us the middle. All right, if you guys are wondering what this is, this is the rebound. All right. Okay, rebound is how how fast it goes back out. Okay. Okay, so your next adjustment is your compression adjuster. All right, and this one's the kind of pain in the ass to do. Look, yeah, let me put the bike on the stand. Okay, here we are at the right fork leg on the bottom. All right, on the bottom, there's two adjusters. All right, if you watched my com kind of comparison video between this and the RST Kilo Fork, you'll find out that yeah, there's two adjusters on the bottom. There's a high speed compression and like kind of like a medium speed compression. All right, and then there's a automatic. There's a there's a bottom uh, anti bottom. Uh, stroke also but you can't adjust that all right so you can only adjust two all right so what we're gonna do is uh the same thing we did last time we're gonna back it out all the way all right so it's already backed out all the way all right so i'm gonna turn this knob the outer knob okay one two three Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, 13. Okay, there's 13. So maybe I want to go back six. We'll go back six, okay? To keep it in the middle. So, so. one. This is really hard to do, guys. <laughs> Two. Three, four, five, six. Okay, that gives us the middle adjustment for that. All right, so now there's another adjustment. All right, that's the TPC. All right, that's the medium medium stroke. All right, and uh, and then so we're gonna turn this all the way down, like I mentioned before. All the way down it's all the way down and then now we're gonna go all the way the other direction one two three all right and, and also when you're doing this make sure this doesn't move all right because there's two adjusters there's one on the inside and one on the outside you could move this one and then the whole thing moves all right so four five six seven eight Nine, ten, eleven, twelve. All right, so there's there's like twelve or eleven adjustments each. So I'm gonna go back six. Let me get me in the middle. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, there we go. Now we're now everything is set in the middle. All right. All right. So that's where we're gonna start. Okay. From. So that's why it was too soft earlier. All right, because because uh, all the settings were all the way on the bottom. All right, I, for whatever reason, I turned them all the way down. I think because uh, they were all the way turned up before, and you couldn't move the fork around at all. Okay, and so now what I probably want to do is get back on the bike and see how it feels. Okay. Okay. a little better it's still pretty plush maybe i want to add more compression all right um, and also feel how fast it goes back up all right and i think it's okay um, but you're just gonna have to play around with it uh not one setting works for everything all right so but hopefully hopefully it, it does <laughs> so let's say all right okay i'm just gonna kind of bounce it up and down it real quick I feel I still feel the front is kind of too soft, but I, I think I can I think I'll go with that. All right. So that's the good thing about this air fork system. 
is that you can uh, you can adjust it. I, I can still I can still add more air to the spring. All right, um, get you can get the suspension how you want it. Do you want it, like it nice and soft? Do you like it hard? All right. Um, the harder the suspension is, the harder it is to bottom it out, bottom it out. All right, I'll tell you that now. All right, so you don't want it too, uh, but 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 then then yeah, it be, the ride becomes harsh. All right, so so you kind of kind of have to if you want it to be a little more comfortable, um, then you want it to be softer. All right, but if it's softer, it it becomes easier to to bottom out. All right, and you don't want to bottom out. You don't want to bottom out really badly. Okay, <laughs> you don't want to bottom because it could damage. It, you could get hurt or you could damage something, you know, as I want to say. All right, so so you're going to kind of have to find that, you know, that happy happy medium ground, all right? Um, and it, it, it kind of depends on what you're doing with the bike, all right? What kind of terrain you're riding on. So you're going to probably, you you could have different settings for different thing, all right? It's too bad, you know, it's too bad you don't, they don't have electronic suspension for mountain bikes. <laughs> I don't know, man. Uh, then you can easily change the settings, right? So... What you're gonna to want to do is kind of note what your settings are. All right, I think uh, I think it was like around six clicks. All right, in, right in the middle. All right, so that made it really easy. Um, and you always want to count from one extreme to the next. All right, so so if you're all the way to the right, then you you know you can count however many back. Or if you're all the way counterclockwise, then you can you know go however many the other way. So I, I set everything in the middle. All right, so if I still feel it's too soft then I'm going to start increasing compression, increasing rebound, okay? Increasing maybe the air pressure for the spring, right? I, I still got a little bit more that I can go, right? Um, the reason you don't want, yeah, so the reason you don't want too little sag, all right? I'm going to talk about sag now. The reason you want, you don't want too little sag is you don't want it to top out. So when, when, when you get to the top of the stroke, it, it tops out, all right? And, and it, like if it does that, it doesn't move at all. You're, you, you want the suspension to stay in the middle of the travel because that's where the suspension works best, all right? And, and it was, remember, the suspension works both ways. It goes down and also goes up. That's why you have to be worried about topping out also, okay? Um, and so, so you're like, yeah, if you're topping out too much, um, you probably want to let some air out, all right? If you're bottoming out too much, you probably want to let some air in, all right? Um, and, and if you're still having problems, maybe you need to lose weight or something. I, I don't know, man. But but so that's the beauty of this system. All right, uh, it has an air spring, so you can you can set the pressure for you know different different thing. If also if you're going to be having more weight on the bike, let's say let's say I'm going to do I want to do a double battery pack ride. You know, um, maybe you want to add more pressure into the air spring. All right, so the sag is in the right spot. All right. Okay, so that's just kind of like the basics of suspension setup Hades Omega just did right now. Hades Omega is not a suspension guru, okay? But I know a thing or two, okay? That's what I want to say, all right? And so so what I had done to the bike is I had I had set the sag uh, for, for the fork. I haven't done the rear suspension yet, all right? And I might do a separate video about that. Check that out. But um, I set the sag first, all right, with the little, with the little ruler, like, like it said in the manual. And then uh, we counted how many clicks each adjuster had for the compression and rebound, all right? And then I put everything in the middle, all right? I, I noted it was too soft before, so we needed to add more compression, more rebound, all right? And now I kind of feel like it's better, all right? And so what I want to do is I want to ride it around and see how, how I like that. If I want it stiffer, I, I feel like I want it stiffer. I, I, I want to get it pretty close to how the rear is, all right? And it feels like the rear is like kind of too stiff, so maybe I need to do something about the rear too. <laughs> maybe the rear needs to be softened up somehow, okay? So I, I'm thinking I'm probably going to have to add more compression or more rebound, all right? Like I said, Hayes Meg is not a suspension guru. I don't really know how to fine tune it. I know you can go to like a motorcycle shop They'll bounce your bike up and down a couple times, and they'll 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 know what to do with the clickers and stuff, right? Ace Vega is not that good. Okay, <laughs> I can't play it, but I have to. Ace Vega has to ride it, and like oh, I feel like it's too soft. Add more compression, you know, and then and then ride it again, you know. So that it, um, adjusting your suspension is just kind of like it's like a game, right? You gotta get you gotta get it just right, is what I'm gonna say, all right?
Uh, and and it, it it's all it based on rider preference too, okay? Some people like soft suspension, some people like hard suspension, all right? I'll tell you this, if the suspension is too stiff, um, it's gonna beat you up, like that RST fork, all right? The RST fork would just not give, you know, it wouldn't follow the terrain, it, just, it was like riding a jackhammer, all right? Um, I'm hoping this one is not like that. <laughs> I hope it actually absorbs shock. That's the name of the game, right? You want to be able to absorb shock, right? You want you want the bike suspension to do the work for you, so you don't have to do as much work because you're you want to focus on racing, right? <laughs> Riding, right? All right. So yeah, that's that's just my little uh, my little lecture there on sus uh, suspension setup, all right? And, and how it is, how it pertains to the Sora Light B with my new suspension setup, the with the Manitou Dorado fork. All right. Okay. Thanks for watching. Hey, big out.